Let's say the year starts in fall. Let's just say it without asking if it's true. There's fruit, dark, perfect, juicy, bitter fruit. The wind blows and fruit falls. The wind blows and golden leaves fall. The grass lies shriveled from the summer. The fruit is heavy on these branches, but half lasts till the dying of the light. Midwinter, the are shriveled wineskins that shine like gold and raindrops and sunbeams. They crust the concrete with loamy pebbles. Fertilize glades, groves, gutters, and concrete. Thick grass prepares to coat everything. Trees look always the same, unchanging though the slender stalks that unfurl the first eye-soft leaf and the gentle days before spring have turned into ship-like hollow cases and rift on the land, caught in walls, falling into wells, filled in the flood with dirt like that they sprang from, wine dark, mixed with seeds, half rot and half roots, the dirt inside such twisted coffins harbors stories people never seen before, a carnival of life. That bitter juice, that smooth black skin, those large craggy seeds, the silver blades hold forth, deliver a message for the whole community of life. The wind carries it, the summer comes in with slim blossoms, messages carried still further, messages of cream, of the fat of life, and the almost sensible secret scent of growing things. Summer makes seeds of tiny buds, puts flesh on their bones, sends them bouncing and bright into the hands of little children, amidst the thrill of a first gentle lifting up to the community of twigs and air and air. They grasp, release, gasp at the height. The ancient dance is skillfully executed by chunks of solidified light. The brightening bobbles, pale as grass, Entice the child to put a foot on the first step of roots, and each step leads to the next. The sense of the limbs takes over, the puzzle is laid bare. Old still arms made light with new life, lift and lift. The process is self-evident, the mystery cracks open. Weights meet in balance, wood bounces, a foot bounces and a seed in such an excited state can sometimes bounce as far as the sea. That sea tells secrets, hears everything whispered, sends its waves to lend a hand. It carries the sky inside and out, light in every straight line, stirring the mess together. It rests and wrinkles the bones of old groves when their roots go deep enough. Like always, summer grows heavy and sags. Vines and fields are sticky and buzzing with life. Juice runs over the dry grasses, ripening, always ripening. When fall comes again, they stand ready to receive a communion of sorts. Secretive but informal, an exercise of limb and mind. An activity that must end in mulch. Everything dies like this, sacrificing its former life to future life. Dying is fundamental. Seeds and seedlings eat their clothes, and offerings are made to all, regardless of deserving. Food is given in every form, but only some look to us like death. A rot produces a perfume, too. Some say it is not very different from an orchid's. We take and take, fill pockets and pantries, stain our clothes, our hair, our minds, and feed on oil that burns our throats for sheer freshness. What's left will be torn apart by the wind, hidden away, purified to the utmost. A fruit becomes a commodity. It's like to its old life withers away. Its future existence stretches forth as always, exploring. The end is 
is the beginning. That is what we are reminded each time we do a little task that changes everything forever. One branch, one trunk, one root, one field. So little changes so much. The first wild crocus, iris, anemone, that throws its unlikely head out of the ground, tells us what the grasses never needed to know, that their trust was well laid. Growth will soon be obvious. Proliferation to excess is returning again and again. Grasses and bulbs, seeds of all sorts, act and converse freeform, making the unpredictable music of growth. They sense and do, they consume and produce. Trust is inherent, given along with life and lovely, limited freedom. <laughs>